Hi, everyone. Let's start with what I will do in this seminar. Directly, let's go there. But this would be little longer than what you have been used to. Because I want to tell you my quest first, you know, and then tell you what I'm going to do in this seminar. You know, I did a very interesting thing with my friends when we were just after the internship, when we were house physician. During that time in our college, we had Dr. Shankaran, Dr. Vijaykar, case, you know, Dr. But with, uh, Dr. Vakil has already passed, but he was attached in government side. Dr. Praful Barwalia and many other, Dr. Vijaykar and many other college teacher. And we wanted to see for last 10 years, all the hospital admission. And in their OPD, you have a register in last 10 years, which kind of pathologists have done well? And to for all of them, people who gave, you know, on pathology, people who gave on, on kind of holistic principle. And to our surprise, only people, any school, but those who have done classical homeopathy, what we know, principles of individualization and holism, only those cases, only 10% of those cases of different masters, but their results were there. Rest all, not even a 1%, trust me. And after that, for many years, any school which spoke about pathology, and when I say any school, I mean it, any school. We either went there or we saw their all research and records. I give you in one example, let's not name the school. The school claims daily they see 1,200 cases of pathology, 300 cases of cancer. That means 9,000 plus a month. That means 100,000 plus a year. And when we saw the record of how many improving, let's say, a good case of 300, 400, 500. And similar thing we saw with the people who have given on the principles of homeopathy. Yeah, but their numbers were less. Let's say 100, but out of the 10 did well, approximately. And then I checked that ratio-wise, it is those who are doing classical, integrative, holistic homeopathy, their results are better. Number may be less because they are seeing the less number of cases compared to all other schools which are based on protocol. I was surprised with that. Um, if any school shows with those kind of protocol, more than 10%, I'm ready to leave classical homeopathy and go and learn that as much as time it takes. With that research in background, for last 20 years, that's what I did. I developed the whole path of this integrative, holistic homeopathy and how to use this in pathological cases. And that's what I will share with you, you know, when we meet. 
yeah i will share with you here i share my screen so that you know you understand what i'm going to do just a little glimpse of you know all what i will do with you all i will take you all from kind of two dimensional approach where there you have just pathology or just disease or just part or just one person or a one book or one method approach to integrative inclusive holistic approach in treating whether you know deep pathological cases whether it is case taking whether it is remedy selection whether it is remedy understanding whether it is follow up criteria whether it's postology i will to do that i will first introduce you to the concept that there is two type of deep pathological cases one coming from external and one coming from your own internal constitutional state once you understand that you will understand how the next all steps will be different based on that then i will take you from there to the second concept that there are two type of postal a uh, pathology degenerative pathology and proliferative pathology and based on that like degenerative like like brain heart liver lung degeneration or proliferative where the things are growing virus immune system or cancer once you understand that your next step that how to make totality or how to understand totality in such cases how to find present predominant and persistent pathological picture in such cases and how yeah we'll get pick based what we get the present persistent predominant picture we will see in totality when to take present pathological picture to treat or prescribing and when to take persistent constitutional picture to prescribe in which case to give only on the present state or in which case to give based on the constitutional persistent picture from here i will take you to the steps of case taking tailor made step for pathology what to ask how to ask when to ask so that the whole pathological state comes in front of you at a whole level for that i have designed specific questions for specific part of whether it is just chief complaint whether it is general whether it is mental specific questions like more than 50 to 100 question only to explore location sensation modality and concomitant two how to explore chief complaint like when you keep illness in front of your eyes what abstract image spontaneously come across your mind two when you keep your diagnosis your report in front of you what crosses your mind like that some artistic question to explore chief complaint around 20 to 30 of them like that yeah i'm not going in all details of that but you know just one one put here just to show you hmm two some very artistic question like if you exaggerate this illness what was comes in your mind either right paint or give me a picture of it 
do. And many of that are the first thought with pathology. Two, when you hospitalize, there are different questions for that. Two, based on my new book, Right Brain Approach, how to create spontaneous stage where answer to pathology comes up spontaneous. And many such question, which is based on my this book, I put it there. Yeah. Then when you fail in such cases, now the real part comes up. When you fail in such cases, take two, retake. Naturally, the retake is the one who you are doing it who have failed. So how the second take based on scientific principles should be more better and more accurate. In that case, what to ask, how to make totality, which data to take, which area to focus. It's a beautiful a method which I've developed for last 15 years. Two, I'll take you to difficult pathological cases like one-sided diseases. People with a low level of experience of paucity of symptom or people leaving away from the cities where the, their understanding is limited. How to design a question to get PQRS at general, particular, mental as well as holistic level. Two, coma cases, organ transplant cases like that, cancer, degenerative. Yeah? Then very important thing, and this is what I'm teaching since last one year, how to use three group of pathology based on holistic principle and not just pathology. Higher, 30 to mm, lower, like mother tincture to 12C, to LM. All in degenerative or proliferative pathological cases. When to give very high pathology and when to give low. When to select LM and when to select C based on principles of homeopathy and not pathology. Because here all we are talking about pathological cases. This concept I'm convinced will change your way you think and see your prescription. Yeah? Like this, you know, there's a whole chart there which I'll share with you. Yeah, from there, how much to give, how to repeat, and in some cases, how to give two pathology together based on what, you know, on the criteria of follow-up. Then, if time permits, I'll the, how I make a very specific patient-centric diary in pathological cases patient, which helps me in retake one-sided disease patient with low level of experience and to get the natural PQRS. Yeah? Two, and naturally when we are talking about pathological cases, Detailed understanding of their follow-up. How to do first follow-up? How to do, because a long-term, in every interval follow-ups, how to understand homeopathic aggravation, exteriorization, law of direction of cure, and other, other criteria of follow-up based on holistic principles. And all the cases which I will select, which I've selected already, will have minimum one year to 10 year of follow-up. So you see the whole journey what's happening. Hmm? And of course, the cases which I will select, cases, some which are only stuck at the local, some which are stuck at the general, some with proliferative pathology like cancer, viral immunity disorder, some with degenerative pathology like some, you know, 
organ degenerative like kidney, brain, or liver. With in all such cases, exact module of case taking, posology, follow up criteria. So, this is what I am thinking of sharing with you all. I am convinced you will, you have deep because this is what you want to treat. So, I am sure you all have many questions related to this. I am all set. If we meet there, we'll have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation there. Yeah? So I look forward and connect with you in the similimum field of pathological cases. Hmm? Thank you. Take care.